Hi everyone, welcome to the My Story platform of Sahardia Institute of Management Studies. Stories create magic and opens a sense of imagination. Stories can certainly move people. Today, we are having a great personality, Dr. Justin Paul, a renowned academician, author and moreover a role model for every student and academician. Inspiringly, he is one of the most top cited researchers in the world for the year 2021. Precisely, among the top 1% of researchers and the only Carolite as published by the Web of Science. My name is Justin Paul. I am a professor of business administration in America and I am also having a um, career job as a professor with the University of Reading in England. I am an author of uh, eight books published by leading publishers like Oxford University Press, McGraw-Hill and Pearson. And it's a pleasure for me to share my success story with the audience. And I am originally from Avutapalli uh, Monumuri Matatur in Tusu district in Kerala. And I have uh, reached to a level where I have been fortunate to teach in different countries all over the world. I, I have taught in about uh, 30 plus countries and I have visited about 60 plus countries as a speaker and as a visiting uh, professor to teach either full courses or as a um, uh, half courses or different modules in different uh, universities all over the world. And I would like to share my story uh, so that uh, maybe people will get motivated to work hard and uh, succeed in their life. For me, I was born in a village. I was born in a hilly village. When I was born and when I was a child, I did not have excellent road transport facilities to my village. So the road to my village was not properly tarred and were not properly constructed and there were a uh, few buses running on that route when I was five year old or when I was uh, eight year old or when I was ten year old. So it was difficult for me to uh, go to a far away location from my place because uh, of the lack of infrastructure in my village and lack of transport facilities from my village to other places in Kerala state. However, I had a dream and I wanted to fulfill my dream. My dream was to achieve success in my life. And uh, I studied in a government lower primary school, private, I mean government school where, uh, which is not considered as a role model school. And it was a constraint, it was a challenge and it was a problem for me to achieve highs in my life. And uh, because I studied in a local language medium school, I had trouble in terms of uh, improving my English language skills and communication skills later in my life. I took a lot of initiatives to uh, improve my communication skills when I went to Christ College in Yalakura to study. And I started reading English newspapers and started watching English TV channels when I was uh, 20 year old. And I uh, managed to get a scholarship from IIT, Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, when I was, uh, after completing my master's degree, I, I also worked in a bank as a bank officer for a year. And my uh, dreams were to be a successful professor, to be a successful academician. And uh, that was my dream. And I uh, pursued my dreams and I after after going to IIT I found that a lot of IIT and those who are doing BTEC in IIT they were I saw that they were all going to America and and they were all talking about American dreams and opportunities in America opportunities in Western countries opportunities in developed countries and I joined uh, IIM Indian Institute of Management as a faculty member as a professor after uh, getting my PhD degree awarded from IIT and I uh, worked at IIM for more than three years as a full-time faculty member. Then I wanted to go abroad because uh, I wanted international exposure, international experience. Initially, I got a job as an associate professor from a university in Japan. 
I took up a job in Japan at that particular point of time. My salary in Japan was nine times more than what I used to get IIMs. So I got motivated to work in Japan. I went to Japan. Japan was a nice experience. Then I was, uh, my dreams were not confining to the Japanese boundaries or Asian boundaries. I wanted to go to America. I managed to get a job at University of Washington. And I went to University of Washington to teach from Japan. Initially, my Japanese university gave me six months leave to go to America. And I worked at University of Washington. And uh, uh, my first job in America was not a permanent job. It was a, uh, it was a proper full-time faculty job. It was salary was good. Salary I, I got uh, at that time I got uh, eighty-five thousand dollars salary in America. And after that, uh, I got a promoted position as a full professor in another university in America. I changed my job in America, and. Uh, um, I wanted to do more research in America. I wanted to get American green card. And I, uh, I published uh, more books and research papers at that particular point of time. I spent a lot of time to write books and uh, uh, research papers. And my first book, since I studied in Malayalam medium, initially my, I was not confident of English language skills and I was uh, not sure that I can write a book without any mistakes in English. In order to fulfill my dreams, I started watching TV channels in English instead of watching local language channels. And I, I was able to improve my English language skills, both uh, uh, oral skills and written skills by watching TV language and by reading English language newspapers. But I started doing that after I turned 21 or after I turned 22. So it was a bit late in my life, but uh, I realized that you can achieve greater heights in your life and transcend horizons in your life if you do all those kind of things and if you have proper training. And this training helped me to go from place to place, from country to country. And uh, after that, I got a lot of opportunities. I got uh, visiting professorships across European countries. I taught full courses in Denmark twice and France twice. I was given an invited speaker status and great invited speaker in, in a big conference in France. I was the chief guest and I, I had a lot of laurels like that. And uh, uh, I have uh, till date, I have taught in at least uh, 10 universities in Europe as a visiting professor. My job in America has four months vacation and excellent salaries too. So I, 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 I'm very satisfied. I'm a very satisfied uh, professor. And uh, uh, I come back to India on and off and every year. I spend two, three months yearly in India. I've been doing that for the last uh, 14 years. And I've been also managed to go to different countries. And uh, uh, IIM Code Code has given me a title called Distinguished Scholar, and which is also a good achievement I would uh, consider. And I'm also serving as uh, Chief Editor of International Journal of Consumer Studies these days, and along with two professor jobs, one in America, one in UK, and, and uh, Chief Editor of a A-grade global academic journal. I do have a hectic life, and I do manage my time. Time management is very important. I consider that each and every one of us can succeed in life, provided you manage your time effectively. Sometimes I have also failed. My life was not full of success. When I tried to publish my first research papers, I got many rejections from different journals. And my book, it takes a lot of time to write a book. And I published a total 10 books, eight uh, published, eight I authored myself and two edited books. I mean, my books are published by uh, very well-known publishing companies like Palgrave, Mark Miller, and Oxford University Press, Pierce and McDowell and so on. And initially, when I wrote my first book, I was not sure that I will complete it. I uh, once I felt sick when I was uh, dedicated to write my book, and because it, it, it takes a lot of time, you have to sacrifice. And I sacrificed, uh, uh, you know, my free hours instead of watching movies. I was writing books, which is very good, and. Um, in order to improve my communication skills when I went to America, uh, what I did was that I attended an accent neutralization class. 
and native speakers native american speakers taught this course and uh, it helped me a lot in improving my accent utilization um, and and uh, it helped me to improve my communication skills and i was active in extracurricular activities suppose you know i would say that uh, a student need to be uh, active in curricular as well as extracurricular activities when i was studying i was active in extempore speech competitions i used to write uh, i used to participate in literary competitions writing essays writing uh, stories and so so those kind of things uh, i have received prizes also as a student uh, extracurricular competitions and uh, i have said as a editor of a campus voice newspaper at uh, christ college at that time and uh, um, yeah maybe i my story when i think about i would like to say that everything was not successful initially even though i achieved a uh, lot of things as a professor as a global professor everywhere in different parts of the world my initial days i had a lot of problems also i tell you one example i when i was uh, 19 i was not sure whether i will get a good job i went to appear for a bank test uh, my first uh, competitive exam was for a uh, job as a clerk in a bank uh, i did the millions thousands of people in india appear for bank test and i also appeared applied and appeared for bank test i didn't get my bank job as a clerk my first test i failed but i took it as a challenge and within 2 years i managed to get a bank job as an officer as a as a in a managerial cadre as an assistant manager so even though my first attempt to get a clerical job in a bank i did not succeed but i managed to get a bank officer job immediately after that and uh, then i wanted to be a professor and i managed to get a ugc junior research fellowship ugc jrf and um, after that uh, i did not have to go back or think back after i got admitted admission with a scholarship from iit bombay for my phd then uh, that was a good break for me and uh, i uh, have always tried to do uh, better things in my life uh, after that and even though uh, uh, you know initially i did not succeed in getting all the jobs i wanted uh, you, you know so i succeeded later in a uh, better way and uh, um, i would say that uh, um, you know management suppose nowadays i i do have three jobs two professor job america uk and chief editor job of an academic journal and i manage so many emails i delegate a lot of my job for example editor job i have 20 associate editor professor job i work with a teaching assistant i decentralize and i build my teams to divide my jobs that is how i manage my time so team management delegation of work all those are also very important and my message to all the viewers or all the audience is that if you can manage your time and if you have dedication determination to succeed and excel in your life you can uh, succeed nothing is impossible and uh, you need to have will power you need to have you need to uh, think that uh, uh, you know miles to go before we sleep miles to go before we sleep miles to go before we uh, you know Uh, before we finish certain tasks there are a lot of lot of things one can achieve this uh, poem english poem miles to go starting with miles to go gives us a clear message that uh, we have a lot of things to achieve and we have a lot of uh, things to do in our life and uh, uh, let's try to make this happen and transcend the horizon transcend the horizon this is very important horizons uh, we have to we have to work hard to uh transcend the horizon if we all work very hard we can together create a better world we can together create a wonderful uh, uh world and and success uh is a journey success uh is 
uh, not a full sentence with a full stop never put a full stop on your way to succeed and it's like fill in the blanks and uh, always think about success don't think about uh, failure be optimistic and don't be pessimistic you can succeed i have got sponsored invitation from many many universities in many countries including australia austria uh, france um, and across america south america i have traveled the world and uh, uh, with a lot of sponsorship from all over the world and i have had eventful life without any uh, break and uh, you can also achieve lot of uh, laurels like this you can uh, be a global professor global citizen or global achiever in a company i can give you some example microsoft uh, chief executive officer google chief executive officer twitter chief executive officer they are all very young and they are all young achievers uh, take them as your role model or consider them as your role model and try to work hard with dedication determination passion and have a mission so that you can achieve greater things i i did publish a lot of research papers i developed mastige model and theory for brand management 7p framework for international marketing score framework for small companies and these frameworks are used uh, everywhere in the world these days and uh, my last message to you is that uh, work hard and uh, build your network of good people and how good people as your friends you can excel in your life and uh, always think positive don't be uh, a person with negative mindset and negative attitude be a person with positive attitude you can achieve uh, and and transcend uh, uh, the milestones in your life thank you